time for another unboxing. Aloha Maddie, enjoy this hanger made with Aloha from Maui. I love Maui. I think I read it wrong. I think this is a hanging plant. Thanks guys, this is cool. I will definitely visit once COVID is over. Mini flashlight? I think I need to charge it. For you, Maddie, I hope you enjoy this. Oh, it's an SD card holder. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. It's got my logo on it. Thanks, guys. Future-proof premium dietary supplement. Is this supposed to be my meal? Do you guys think I should eat one of these? I don't know. Kind of. Just gonna... Oh, it's water housing for my phone. Aquatech, thanks guys for sending this. I feel like this is the most legit water housing for an iPhone I have ever seen in my life. This is hardcore. Thanks guys, uh, we gotta, gotta put this to, to a test. Now for the packages that I've most been waiting for. Probably why you clicked on this video in the first place. For the record, I ordered these myself. I paid for them. Nobody's telling me what to say or anything like that. These are my opinions. These are my first uh, smart glasses I've ever put on. At first feel, they they feel a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little bit plasticky. It doesn't feel as like Ray-Ban quality. What's up with that? I guess, I guess they couldn't make them like the normal material they make, these side. They're also, they're dusty. So if you haven't heard, these are smart glasses. These are, uh, they're called the Facebook Stories with Ray-Ban, Facebook Story. Ray-Ban Facebook Stories, something like that. Uh, and they have cameras built into the glasses. So you're supposed to be able to uh, record really quickly and easily and then post it straight to Instagram or I guess just save the video. Uh, and I am really curious for these to be like decent and for for it to be worth the money and for me to actually start using these They're gonna need to do three things first off the quality of the camera is gonna have to be pretty decent like kind of like iPhone ish quality at least the second thing is that the angles have to work so it's stuck to your face so wherever you look that's where it's gonna film so if the angle just looks stupid all the time and it's all shaky and and just doesn't look good doesn't matter if the quality's good the angles suck and then thirdly they have to be more convenient to get video clips and photos than my smartphone which is already quite convenient those three things need to happen for me to actually start using these. What do you guys think? How do they look? That body like my smart glasses. You look very smart. <laughs> For good measure, I also bought a second pair because I thought it would be more fun to try this out if we had two pairs. Look who's back guys, Tyler's back. Back, back in action. Check these out. You got two? <laughs> I just ordered two. I thought it'd be more fun to try them out with somebody else. You look like Superman. <laughs> Do I look like Superman? Looking good, looking like good. <laughs> it's good to have Tyler back in the office. We missed him. Do you feel like you're from the future now? Well, I got laser eye surgery, so I wouldn't have to wear glasses. Maybe <laughs> and... I shouldn't have and just got these. Okay, so it's like a, a charging case. That's cool. Power button on. Oh, there's a light. Tyler, do you want some future-proof premium dietary supplement while we wait? <laughs> you eat one? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. I don't know if I trust it. I've never heard of the company before. It makes me a little bit, a little bit wary. I already like? took so many vitamins today. <laughs> it, looks, it looks like cartoon. That looks so sketchy to me. <laughs> Are you gonna take it? Premium dietary supplement. Let's go. <laughs> I need to get some water. 
The office taste tester. Yeah, this is, what do they call it? The cup bearer? The yeah, king's cup, cup bearer? bearer. <laughs> so the king would often have a cup bearer to test the wine to make sure that it wasn't poisoned by anybody. So Testing the, the supplements. I love you, Mom. Seem like a normal pill. Check back with me in half hour or so, maybe. Do you feel any different? No. All right, we got the app. Log in with Facebook. It has been a long time since I've used my Facebook. Hi, Maddie. Let's get your glasses paired up to date so you can capture moments, listen to media, and share memories with those who matter most. That's actually something that I didn't mention is that you can also, they have little speakers, little speakers built in. Right there, probably hard to see. Little speakers built in. So you could listen to podcasts with these. So that might be kind of cool, going on like a bike ride or a run, and then you could just listen instead of having headphones on, because sometimes you don't really want to sweat with those on. Start by turning on the glasses. They are on. Found them. Activating. Pair. Still activating. Checking for updates. Downloading update. Dang it. <laughs> Tyler, do yours feel cheap? Plasticky. It's it's not like really that glossy. Yeah, it's not. It's like kind of like you know how if you have a real pair of Ray Bans, they're like you yeah. know they're kind of heavier. These feel a little cheaper. Yeah, and they're pretty glary on the on the screen. Yeah, so glary, a little glary. Okay, done. Get to know your glasses. Ooh, that's a satis. You you guys did not hear that, but there's a satisfying sound uh, that happened. Let me let me try to get it for you guys. It's quite satisfying. Record videos, press once to record a 30 second. Okay, so you can only do a 30 second video, I guess. Press again to stop recording. The white LED notification will stay on. So there is a light showing people, other people that you are recording, but it's pretty. Would you be able to see that light from far away? No, not during the day at least. It's a pretty small light. I feel like you would not see that light in most like cases. The sun is like shining on It just house. looks like a little glare maybe. I actually expected that to be a little bit brighter. Capture hands free. Play audio. Listen to media. Play. Okay, so there's a little like touch pad on the side here. Huh. Put on the daily podcast right away. Ah, oh, that's... Tap once. That's actually not bad. Again, you guys can't hear, but I'm listening to a daily. Take calls, double tap. Hey, Facebook, start video. Ah, works pretty well. Hey, Facebook, stop video. Not bad. Okay, so I believe the video clips all are just saved on the glasses and then you have to download them from the glasses. Maybe. I hope I'm not like straight uploading to, oh yeah, there. Now they appear on the app here. It's just this square format right now though. Is there a way to change that? Crop, nope. Portrait, okay, yeah, interesting. I guess they made it square so you could take like a portrait video or a landscape, horizontal uh, video. So that kind of makes sense. Uh, the photos look okay. The video quality, I wouldn't, Let's let's see. Let's do some tests. Okay, so apparently you can't go straight to Instagram stories from the glasses, which seems like a little bit of a missed opportunity. But uh, Zuckerberg. <laughs> but I think that might be because the square format. And when I watched Saradici's video, uh, it would actually come with the square format into stories, and then you had to like kind of like reframe it, crop it the way you want it. So maybe that's why. Uh, okay. Let's go and test these outside. Let's see how they are. Just totally splashed that guy. I feel so silly trying to, <laughs> trying to do this properly. You just gotta keep dead, dead eyes locked up. Last night I was dreaming out loud, California sun was making my eyes dry. <laughs> I wouldn't have got that if I wasn't using I the glasses. <laughs> Damn, I just realized you can't hit the record button unless you have them on your face. It's interesting. All right, I'm gonna take a photo of you, Tepo. Another photo. You want portrait mode or? <laughs> it's square. You don't have to do that. Well, close up. Last night I was dreaming. 
Come on, roll through. You can do it. Just don't launch it into the water again. Oh, gosh. That reminds me of my past. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the spot. Let's do a little comparison of uh, what the iPhone ultra wide looks like in comparison to these glasses cameras. I actually had a moment here with Kai on the weekend. We were out here, we got this like electric uh, remote control RC boat and we were just flying around here having a lot of fun. Oh, not so much. Oh, no, 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 look, 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 look. And then all of a sudden it cut out. Now it ran out of batteries and it's stuck out there. I do now. It was in the middle of the lake and I was like, what am I gonna do? And we had this crazy adventure. All right, we're uh, gonna use the drone. We've tied this little grappler hook with rock to weigh it down. And we're gonna try to fly the drone over to the boat over there okay. and try to save the boat, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. To break the guy. <laughs> Literally taking my drone, putting a rope on it, grappling hook and saving the boat from the river. And there we go. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Got it from all the way over there. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Ah. And it would have been so good to film it with something like these glasses because I needed my my phone for the drone and it was just too crazy. I could have just taken video clips. Uh, so yeah, that moment would have been pretty cool to capture on something like this. It would have been more convenient to use this than my phone. You missed it. I was trying to get a cinematic shot of the ducks. I was following it. <laughs> Smooth gimbal-like shots. <laughs> we can start a new subculture, cinematic Ray-Ban films. <laughs> At Ray-Ban only uh, Instagram account. Ray-Ban only. You gotta make a video on 15 shots to get with your Ray-Ban stories. That's not going viral. <laughs> Good dismount. We're gonna call the winner of the MSI laptop giveaway. Dimitro, uh, we're gonna give you a call now. Hi. Yo, we can't see you, but you won. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Your video is so good, man. We really liked it. Thank Thank you. Congratulations, Dimitro. Uh, hopefully I'm saying your name right. Uh, very well done on your video. I liked it a lot. Tyler liked it a lot too. Good. Okay, so let's talk those three things. Quality, first off, it's not good. It's not absolutely terrible, but it's also not good. I'd say you would expect a little bit better nowadays. I think we're pretty spoiled with just how good cameras are on everything nowadays. I'd say it's like a smartphone a few years back. It's not that good. The photos aren't that good. The video clips are square. And so once you punch in, it's like really low quality. Yeah, it's the quality's not quite there. The stabilization I would say is pretty good, but then when you have low light, you are gonna get those little like motion blur jitters. Probably not gonna affect that much. I think the biggest problem is that the lenses are just, they're too tight. It needs to be wider. If you want it from my perspective, from the perspective of the person who's wearing these glasses, filming with them, it needs to be wider. Which leads to number two, the angles. Do the angles actually work? And I would say that's another really tricky thing because there's a lot of times where you need to be looking at where you're going and not be staring at the thing that you're trying to trying to film, you know? <laughs> like for example, when we're one wheeling, it was super sketchy, like looking back and trying to hold this clip and you, you should be looking forwards. And even when I was really focusing and trying to get a cool shot, like I was on the little bridge there, the flowers going by, I was still missing it because it wasn't wide enough. So I think the angles are quite limited. It, it is, maybe you get used to, you know, holding the shot, but I feel like most of the time it's just gonna be a lot of this like, you know, looking all over the place and it's it's a little chaotic, I would say. It's definitely not meant for like cinematic footage or getting really high quality photos. It is about capturing the moments that happen in your life. And so is it more convenient than just using my smartphone? And I would say in some ways, yes, it's, it's, it's really easy to just hit the record button or take a photo, really convenient, really easy. 
but the battery life doesn't last that long and you're still going to miss shots because it only records for 30 seconds and then it stops and it's kind of hard. You can kind of look in the corner over here and you can kind of see if it's recording or not, but it's hard to tell if you're recording videos or not as you, the person, you know, if, if I'm, if I'm recording you, you can see the light on, but it's kind of, you kind of have to look. It's, it's a little hard to see if you're recording or not. So you will miss shots. You're not always gonna be recording. It would be really cool if it had like one of those pre-buffer things. So when you did hit the record button, it captured, you know, five, 10 seconds before what happened. So you, you never really would miss a shot then, but it's probably pretty bad for battery life. So it is convenient, but also not that convenient. I mean, we were out for like, probably like half an hour recording quite a few clips and I had run through about 70% of the battery by the time I got in. So the battery life isn't that good. Now you can just switch it on and off uh, to save battery life. That's fine, but it's not the best. Oh, look at this mess. That boy, yay or nay on the glasses? <laughs> That's a nay. How do you like them? Yay, nay? Uh... I mean, I'm looking on Facebook with the glasses. I feel like some sort of inception happening. I don't know. <laughs> and like I'm waving to Zuckerberg. I don't know. I don't know yet. I mean, you look good, but uh, they might be a bit gimmicky still. Yeah, I think so. Unless the ladies tell me I look good, then I might keep them. All right, let us know. Yeah. Should Tyler know. keep them? DM me. <laughs>